So here's an unexpected part two video to our craft from yesterday. I'm finishing them tonight. It's Monday. It's Monday night at about 6.30. And Lillian is working on the second dip of some of the ornaments. And I have to say, I think they turned out really, really good. Um, some tips that I would give if you try this craft is Disperse your paints in a thin layer over a larger surface area. It makes it a little bit easier to pull the ornament up off of the plates. We use paper plates. Um, the video that I will link, they did um, a folder. Yeah, they use like a school folder, which is a really, really good idea. Yeah, but we didn't have anything like that. Um, but here, sorry for the wiggles. Here are some of the ornaments. And Lily decided for a couple of them that we dipped one side and then she painted the other side black, which I think looks pretty, pretty cool. Very galaxy like. Um, Oh, we also found that if you um, blew on them really hard while the paint was wet, uh, it kind of gave it like a, I don't want to say a splatter, like a but yeah, like a ripple, a ripple effect. Uh, and that's pretty neat. So I think we probably ended up with close to 25 or 30 ornaments, um, which was a lot of fun. I think it was a fun craft. I think she enjoyed it. What are what are your thoughts on? I thought it was fun. It was like a cool way to make like personal stuff. Okay. Um. So like, if you're like giving gifts or something, and you don't want to use like the plain tags mm -hmm. that like everybody uses, you could like do something fancier and do like these tags. Okay. Which is I feel like a cool way to like customize them. All right. I liked it. It was really fun. All right. These are. The second dip, so when I say second dip, I mean that we've already done one side, like that one. Mm -hmm. oh, and then do we're doing one. the other one. So, okay, so hold on before before you do that one. So put it back over here so we can see it a second. So we did painter's tape on the one side, and then we dipped it yesterday and had the painter's tape on this side, and then we dipped it. So then we took our painter's tape and put it on our dipped side. And then Lily will dip these again and they'll have to dry overnight. But we did a whole bunch of different colors. We each kind of picked a color theme. And then at the end of the night, she decided to just go with some solid Christmas colors. So we have vanilla is like this neutrally color white, green, and red for some very traditional Christmas ornaments. Very cool. So I do hope you guys enjoyed that little craft idea. I, we, try every year to do something craft related for the holiday. Um, one year we each made like our own ornaments where we got the glass ornaments and I did handprint with Lillian, um, Bryce painted his and Justin, um, which was a neat idea for him. Uh, he used some of the cigar labels from his favorite cigars for that year. And he put those in an ornament. Um, I knit a majority of my ornaments that year. Um, but we did, we did do those. They were a lot of fun. So we're going to, <laughs> we're going to open day 11 really quickly because Lillian is in the shower, which means she 
is singing and I don't want to be copyrighted. <laughs> Not that you guys can hear her, but Lord knows what YouTube can hear. And still just came up. Um, so we're, we're gonna, we're gonna open this real quickly. Day 11. Here we go. I wanted to do this this morning, but Justin was sleeping. He had to stay off. So we're getting to this Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do you love it too? All right, we agree. We love it. <laughs> I, am, I am ready for toe decreases. So when I knit my socks, I do like to use a nine inch circular knitting needle. However, when it comes to the toe decreases, you can really only get so far. So I have split my sock into four. I'm knitting these over 60 stitches. So I have 15 stitches on each double pointed needle and I will decrease every other row and get this done. So that's my method. <laughs> 